Hello and welcome to this week's video where we'll once again be talking about all things Animal Crossing! But first, we'll just start with uh, a short introduction to myself. I am Kadoomed, um, or David, and uh, this is my channel. And uh, I've just started making videos, so bear with me as I get used to, to all of this. And it's really uh, a way for me to to talk about my love of games. I've been a gamer since I was six with a ZX Spectrum. I've served my time in, in video game retail and uh, uh, my career's taken me in a different direction. But I still really love playing video games. I wanted to find an outlet where I could talk about that. And this is it. So I hope you enjoy the videos. Um, let me know how I can make them better. Give me any tips uh, in the comments. Let me know what you like. That's cool too. <laughs> And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll make some interesting videos in the next few months. The first thing we're going to cover today is Bunny Day. What did you think? Tell me honestly. It was kind of controversial, wasn't it? Some people loved it. Most people seemed to find it pretty annoying and frustrating. And I have to admit, at first I was in that camp. Every time I went for a medium fish, it turned out to be an egg. And that was it kind of the novelty wore off after a while. And so I didn't like it. But then it turned out that Nintendo were, were, were listening to fans. They, they made some changes. They tweaked the, the drop rate of eggs. And I, I kind of made peace of it. And then I found out that Zipper, he kind of is a bit like us. He's just a normal guy doing his best. If you walked off screen, when Zipper was on screen, he let out a kind of world-weary... As if he was just tired of this stuff. And that kind of made me feel for him. Sure, his, his endless optimism and, and, and boundless energy with regards to Bunny Day was, well, wasn't endearing. It was kind of annoying. But then when I found out he was just... He felt the same way. Well, I kind of felt for the, the poor guy. Stuck in that bunny suit all that time. Here's a little clip of Zipper in action. <laughs> So Bunny Day wasn't a perfect event, we know that. How could we make better? What could Nintendo learn from this event for future events? What would future events be like? Obviously we know there's an Earth Day event coming up later this month. We know there'll be some obvious ones like Halloween, Christmas. What other things could be an Animal Crossing event? Let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll think about that for future videos. In terms of making them better, I think the length was okay for a big event like Easter. But I did see a lot of comments saying that it kind of clashed with the Cherry Blossoms event and they'd like to see that one stand on its own. And I get that. So yeah, may maybe they could have cut it down by, by six, seven days and that given the Cherry Blossom event some room to breathe. That would have been nice. I really enjoyed the Cherry Blossom event. Um, I think the drop rate definitely needs to be tweaked uh, and it's. I found it really frustrating that if I wanted to escape the event I tried to go to a mystery island and then it was even worse. There was just more eggs uh, and that's something that, that could maybe be, be looked at as well. Giving, giving players an escape from the event would be nice.
Okay, we're also going to talk about the main quest in Animal Crossing. I don't know if you've, you've achieved this yet, but uh, my son and I just unlocked this today, which was the gig from KK Slider, when he visits your island and performs for all the, the people on the island. It was amazing, uh, and he gave us one of his songs afterwards. My youngest son was singing along all the way through it. It was super cute. I'll introduce you to Kaylin at some point. You, you may have already met Finley in a previous video. Uh, and it was, it was lovely. It was a really nice event. I have one big problem with it, and that's that it's locked to player one, which was my five-year-old son, because he was really excited about me getting Animal Crossing. I downloaded it, the launch day came, uh, we, we just thought, oh yeah, okay, you, you, can, you can play it first, Finley, and we'll set up your game. So he got to choose the name of the island, got to choose the, the location for the museum and Nuke's Cranny, and that was okay. But I think once his interest had waned a bit, I kept having to, to log into his, his game to progress the island, and that wasn't cool. It would be great to have a way to, to maybe change the island representative, or, or, or find a way to make it work for, for all the players on the island so they're getting the same experience. Otherwise, it's just one player that gets that full Animal Crossing experience. I'm not sure that's right. What do you think? Does Animal Crossing need more quests? Was the KK Slider concert enough? I don't know. I've always liked the core vanilla Animal Crossing experience. And I'm not sure I buy that every game these days needs to have that a big objective or, or quest line that you have to complete. But I've seen some, some interesting arguments about how it could be done. I think if you had the right quest and made it more Animal Crossing-y, then it could work. Um, tie it into some events and make sure that it opens up for all players and not just that island representative that I spoke about earlier. Then maybe, maybe it could work. I don't want to be too closed off in my thinking. I'm, I'm open to persuasion is what I'm saying. But at the heart, you have to keep Animal Crossing like Animal Crossing. Sometimes it's okay to have a game just to chill out and kind of aimlessly wander through, just doing bits here and there, and that's fine. Tell me what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear what you, you'd like to see from Animal Crossing as it develops further. Favourite item! Uh, I've got a favourite item. I came across this last week. It's really cool. It's the projector. Real to real projector, vintage, it's it's super quirky. Um but you can the focus changes as you pu push and pull the projector once it's turned on. I just love the attention to detail in Animal Crossing for the, the different items. Um I just thought that was ace, it was such a nice little touch. Uh, it looks cool in my house. I love it. Okay, we'll finish up this week with just a look ahead to some news and some upcoming releases. What are you guys excited about? For me, I'm super excited about the, the news that there's going to be a load of 3D Mario remakes coming to the Switch. Um, we're looking forward to a bit more information from that in a future Nintendo Direct. I can't wait to replay Super Mario Sunshine, one of my favourite games on the GameCube. That was amazing. Uh, I'm looking forward to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. I'd never played the first one. Got really into the, the second one. Um, despite some pretty ropey British accents. Sorry guys. It's just... I felt kind of jarring sometimes. But the, the story's ace and, and I really got into to the, the world of Xenoblade Chronicles. So I'm looking forward to playing that first one and seeing how it all ties together. I'm still holding out for another bunch of Legend of Zelda remasters, especially Wind Waker HD. If that could be ported from the Wii U to the Switch. Come on guys, make it happen! And that's it for this week. Just a short video, I'm still getting to grips with the, the format. Um, 
hopefully you're enjoying it as, as, as I'm learning and going along. Um, things that I'm looking forward to in the next week or so is we've just unlocked paths in Animal Crossing, so I can't wait to start developing my island a bit more, fleshing out with some paths, uh, maybe creating some, some specific zones, and uh, really playing around with the terraforming. That's quite an exciting development for me. I've not played that played with that in an Animal Crossing game before, so that would be good fun. Um, and I also downloaded in the Nintendo Spring Sale Fae by, from Electronic Arts, which is um, a quirky looking uh, 3D platform game set in a Norwegian forest. And it looks kind of spiritual and spooky, but quite cute as well. So I'm looking forward to getting into that a bit too. Let me know what you picked up in the sale, Did you get any bargains, um, any tips for what I should look out for in the next sale or, or any recommendations for um, quirky, odd games. I love those games. And uh, take care. Stay safe. See you later.